Good day to you, my lovely people. I greet you specially from wherever you're watching from. And welcome to my channel. My name is Elo and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. Feel free to join me in my discovery journey by subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing my videos. In today's video, we are going to be talking about 10 historical places and people of Uzoro Delta State. Ozora Kingdom, the headquarters of Isoko North local government area of Delta State, was founded in the 7th century by Opute, who migrated with his wife Ozora from the shores of Igodomigodo, or the ancient Benin Kingdom. The town was named after his beloved wife Ozora, which means there is fear. The town is populated with approximately 190,807 people and it is 115.4 kilometers from the state capital, Asaba. These are the 10 historical places and people of Ozoro Kingdom. Number one, we have the Ozoro Palace. This is the official residence of the King of Ozoro and it is presently occupied by His Royal Majesty Barrister Anthony Uvietobore Obogbo Ibuka I the Uvie of Ozoro Kingdom. Number two, we have St. Paul's Anglican Church Ozoro. This beautiful architectural masterpiece is one of the earliest churches in Ozoro, built in the year 1911 and is situated in the hub of the town. Three, we have the Eriokwe tree. The tree was planted by the founder of Ozoro. This tree has been in existence for over centuries. The tree also marked the final stop and sentiment of the founder of the town. It is also situated in the orb of the town. Number four, the first story building. Built by Pa Ebele Yekaga of Emega family Utlo Street Ruto community, he was a trade merchant who had business ties with the colonial masters and agents of the Royal Niger Company. Number five, we have Ala Square, the major square and center of Ozoro Kingdom, which has distinct similarities with the popular Ring Road Benin City. Number six, Isoko first graduate. Very Reverend Alfred Bodea Bovi, born in the year 1912, a year after the planting of Christianity in Isoko land, is not just the first graduate of Ozoro, but of Isoko as a whole. He's a man of so many firsts and a pathfinder of brilliant ideas who affected many lives in both Isoko land and beyond. Number seven, Lake Onwe. The lake is the only lake in Ozoro located in Uruto quarters. A festival called Onwe Festival is usually done once in every four years where members of the community and emperors come together to catch, sell, and buy fishes. Number eight, <coughs> Amawe Primary School, Ozoro. The first primary school in Ozoro founded in the year 1914, which coincides with the amalgamation of Northern and Southern Protectorate of Nigeria by Sir Lord Lugard. This school has produced prominent men and women in various disciplines of life, ranging from sport, medicine, academia, etc. Number nine, we have St. Mary Catholic Maternity. St. Mary Catholic Maternity is the home of modern medicine, founded by the early Roman Catholic missionaries. Before the hospital was built, the people of Ozora relied solely on herbs and traditional medicine, midwife for their sicknesses and child deliveries. Like Mary Slesso, it is this maternity that stopped the killing of train babies and reduce the rate of infant mortality in Ozoro and Enveros. Number 10, Delta State University of Science and Technology. The school emanated from the then College of Agriculture, Ozoro, in 1991, when Delta State was created. It eventually upgraded to the status of Delta State Polytechnic Ozoro by the then Governor of Delta State, Chief James Onanefe Ibori. Presently, it has been transformed into the prestigious University of Science and Technology by Governor Ifani Okowa. It also has one of the biggest stadiums in Delta State, the first of its kind in Isoko Lam. Thanks for watching up to this point. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye!